And it's a great illustration of what we find here in Revelation chapter 20. It's not, it's not judgment. It's Jesus Christ issuing the invitation to those who are thirsty. Next, we see in this one verse that we've read, not only is the invitation given to those who are thirsty, but the invitation is given to whosoever will. You must understand clearly tonight that this invitation was not given to a, a select group of people. It's open to anyone. And although the gate is narrow, the invitation is wide tonight. It's whosoever will come, whosoever will. And tonight, I want to ask you the most absurd question that you will ever be asked in this life. Are you willing? It seems odd to me to even make that statement to an an audience of this size. Are you willing to receive Christ? It seems almost preposterous. Oh, I hear so many excuses traveling across the world, and we see thousands and thousands of people saved from all walks of life. But oh, I'm amazed at some of the excuses that people give. Somebody says, well, I don't understand everything. But the invitation tonight is not given to whosoever understands, it's whosoever will. I think about my 11-year-old son in Haiti last summer. My son would understand almost none of the Bible. But yet when he heard his father get up and preach in Haiti, he came up to me and he said, Daddy, God just told me that I'm not saved and I want to accept Christ in my life. Some say, well, I feel I'm not ready. But the invitation tonight is not how you feel. The invitation is, are you willing? It's whosoever will. And let me remind you of the danger tonight of saying no to Christ. Hebrews 2, 3 says, how can we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? Hebrews 12, 25 says, see that you refuse not him who speaks. Oh, I warn you tonight, it's a dangerous thing to shake your fist in the face of Almighty God and say, I will not allow you into my life. And you say, Jay, I would never say that, friend. If you reject Jesus Christ, that's exactly what you've done. Somebody else might say, well, I I can't live the life. There's no way that I can live up to the Christian standard. Hey, I've got news for you tonight. You are exactly correct. You can't live the life. But God Almighty doesn't expect you to live the life apart from him. He gives you the power to live the life. That's why 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, If any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Someone else says, well, gosh, I, uh, I'm just not, I'm not worthy. You're right. You're not worthy. On your very best day, you're not worthy. None of us are worthy. The Bible makes that clear. But Isaiah 118 says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, I will make them as white as snow. The invitation tonight is not to those who feel. It's not to those who understand. It's not to those uh, who, who, who are unworthy. It's to whosoever will come. It's to the porno addict. It's to the religious. It's to the gossiper. It's to the alcoholic. It's to the unfaithful. It's to whosoever will come. Let them come. 